Hey, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy DMV Hudson News right here with Paul and Lad. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMV Hudson News. So if you ain't heard, man, a woman in Baltimore was stabbed, was stabbed and killed over giving money to a panhandler in Baltimore, Maryland, and so forth, man. This is a very sad story. This was a story I was going to report yesterday, but I didn't get the full details of it. And so this right here is the news article for it, and y'all can go ahead with well, the news report that happened on it. This is a very sad situation right here, man. And this right here affects the homeless people who actually is giving people, because nobody really wants to, after hearing this story, a lot of people, a lot of people in D.C. and Baltimore and, you know what I'm saying, all across the region and so forth don't really want to give don't really want to donate no more you know what i'm saying this is type of and then not just that it's december it's robbing season man you know that's one thing about you know the holidays and stuff personally i don't celebrate them but you know even if you don't you know say it can still be dangerous because people are getting robbed killed shot over you know over either money or over gav or over gifts or you know what i'm saying you know new clothes or you know all type of crazy stuff so you definitely gotta be careful these times of the year you know what i'm saying i definitely got i definitely got situations that i got robbed you know gunpoint all type of stuff you know around this this around this time so you definitely gotta be careful man it's robbing season so you know and not just that man this condolences straight to the family though but you know um you know and, and it's sad because this woman died doing a good deed you know what i'm saying that is a sad situation this woman died trying to do a good deed you know what I mean? people just people are just greedy they, you know just people are just pathetic and greedy man sad situation man but just you know listen to the story right here man daughter out um for celebrating a birthday party and uh we were taking her home she lives on the next block over um we stopped here on this corner a girl was out here with a look like a baby in her hand and it was raining and my wife felt moved to give us some money so Reluctantly, because I, I, my wife usually don't do it, I let her. I wind the window down, and when she did, some guy um, came over to say, "Can I thank her?" And as he did that, and I'm not thinking he's gonna do what he did, he commenced to stab in my wife. Snatched her necklace before I knew it, and the girl snatched a little pot, little pocketbook in the seat, and they both ran. I jumped out the car to run, but I heard my wife screaming, so I came back to the car. And the police officer uh, I talked to on 911 told me it was a good thing I didn't follow him. He said, because then I could have set myself up to getting hurt. But by the time I got my wife to the hospital, to John Hopkins, the 911 operator, he was a beautiful person. He told me to, um, to put pressure on her wounds. And I got her to the hospital, and two hours later, they said she didn't survive her wounds. But I need people to know that because I'm a minister, I'm a man of God, and I, I try to help people. But we're in our last days, and we need to understand there's some desperate people that they don't need help. They, they're trying to hurt you. So I'm going to make it my life work before I'm going to let the world know. My, my wife didn't die in vain. So I want to try to get a law passed against banning this, this epidemic of these people out here begging for money and getting close proximity of your car. Because this girl actually said, God bless you, when that guy did that. So that's letting you know. So I just want that word to get out for anybody that's in Baltimore. Be careful when we see these panhandlers out and getting close proximity to your car. Because like me, I'm from Baltimore. The last thing I thought that they were going to take my wife's life. And so now I got to live with that. I got to live with that every day. Seeking the public's uh, help and identifying the suspects uh, involved in, in a, what we consider to be a very heinous murder uh, here at Chase in, in Valley uh, of Mrs. Smith. We're seeking to identify a black female uh, in a 20 medium brown skin complexion, medium build, approximately five foot in height, uh, possible drug user wearing a long brown coat, uh, carrying a sign that says, help me feed my baby. Uh, and carrying what could be uh, a baby uh, in her arms. Uh, we're also looking for a black male, 30s, medium complexion, approximately 5 foot 10, uh, average build. He has a goatee and wearing a, a black hoodie. Uh, they're using this ruse uh, as, as panhandlers uh, to get the attention of their would-be victim. Uh, and we also want to caution the public uh, about engaging with, with uh, uh, panhandlers and, and recognizing the fact that uh, not all of them 
have, have honest intent. Not all of them are in real need. Uh, this murder, uh, again, was, was caused as a result of a ruse as, that was used by the suspect. Fucking sad as shit, man. Whole time. Yeah, man, y'all be careful out here, man. Like I said, condolences to the husband, condolences to the daughter, condolences to the whole family, the whole situation, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I really got to say for real. I ain't really going to speak too much on this, man, but this is sad, pathetic, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, sad, pathetic, man. That, that woman did not deserve that, man. So this is a story I was going to report on yesterday, but um, I got caught up and stuff. So plus, I didn't really know the detail and stuff of it, man. But y'all tell me what y'all think of this situation, man. It's your boy, Dan V. Hudson News, and we gone.